Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the last video, we installed Olama AI on Ubuntu to run it locally on an NVIDIA GPU. It went relatively smoothly for Linux. The link to that video is in the description if you click on it. Just so you know, if you run Olama and you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, it automatically falls back on using your CPU to do the processing. So to start off with, we're going to head over to gpt4all.io. We're going to download gpt4all. This is uh, another one that claims to have local AI model on Ubuntu, but with no GPU required, and it runs off of your CPU. So we'll click on the Ubuntu installer, and we'll click on it, and we get this error that says no apps available. So what we have to do is go to the command line terminal, and when I started troubleshooting this before, I went into the downloads folder and I looked at the permissions and I noticed it was not executable. So I had to chmod plus x gpd for all installer and make it executable. I went back here, tried to run it again, and I still got the same error, no apps available. So to check into what's going on there, I tried to run it from here and I got an error that a library file was not installed. So we already ran into an, an issue in the installation where the installer was not executable and that there's a library file that's prerequisite that was not there. Here's the command to install that library file. I'll put that in the description also. I'll go into here, into downloads, and we'll see what happens when I run the installer. Now it's going. Accept the license, next. Now that it's downloaded, you'll notice here in the lower right corner, it's kind of grayed out and there's an X. You have to right click and go to allow launching. Then you can double click and open it. This is where you can select the model you want. And start to download it. it. Looks like it's gonna take a while. Okay, it looks like the Mistral is installed. It took about 20 minutes compared to Olama. I mean, Olama took a few minutes to install it. So it's just a slower download. Now we're ready to go. So we got Mistral loaded in our GPT for all interface. Let's ask it a question. How far is the average distance from the earth to the sun? Not bad for a CPU. My conclusion, it looks like Olama was just easier to install in Ubuntu. It went more smoothly. There weren't really hitches that I ran into. It was up and running pretty quick. But GPT for all has this nice interface. There is an interface at the web UI for Olama that you can run locally. It's on GitHub, takes a little bit of installation. I haven't tested it yet, but maybe that will be the next video. Thanks for watching. If you would please click like, subscribe. Let's get this channel off the ground. I'm gonna be doing this every weekend and I appreciate your time. Thank you.